is there too much money chasing too few opportunities? And that's really the sort of big question for African investment. I would say n no in the long term, yes in the near and the short term, because Africa has now become a place, an investment destination, a recognized investment destination. It's not yet fully represented in the benchmarks, but it's known and it's not a no-go area. And of course, the Africans aren't stupid. They will hold on to their assets and sell those assets at the appropriate prices. So my point really is not that there is not enough investment opportunity. is at the level of diligence, the level of care, and the level of sophistication and the analysis of what you, what you purchase or what you invest in has to be significantly higher than when Africa was really so cheap or oversold. You know, that was the story of a decade ago, and you've seen the returns. The returns have been good. Um, and really, it's about picking the asset, doing the homework, and also understanding uh, the regional realities. Because what is the point in buying a company in one country which then doesn't have the potential to grow beyond the borders of the country if it's a small one, even if the growth rates are high? And uh, I think that's the key point. One must understand the regional realities and one must make sure that the entry price is appropriate. And I think there is an increasingly sophisticated group of, of, of investors across Africa who can do that pretty well.